Oh, you caught it. All right. Respect. <clears throat> Draymond, I'm curious as to your thoughts on how different it was offensively without Steph out there. Uh, I mean, it's you know, a lot different. Um, you know, when Steph is out there, everything is just more free flowing and um, just reads more so than play calling. Uh, tonight we called a lot of plays. Uh, you know, but. That's kind of the chaos he causes causes when he on the floor. You can just kind of play off him and play off the cuts, and every, you know, he draws so much attention that um, you just end up getting open shots. So uh, I think it took a, took us a little while to adjust to it, but once we adjust, stop turning the ball over, we were fine. Seven straight double digit wins. I think six by seventeen or more. Does it feel like you guys are playing at your top level, even though the numbers would suggest? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. So we peaking, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I don't think we're at our top level. Um, I'm, also, I'm pretty sure this is probably the seventh straight game of 15 or more turnovers are close. So, um, you know, once we cut down on that, you know, it'll help us out a lot. But we got to do that first. Hey, Draymond, specifically with Kevin and Sean tonight, how did you see them approach their playmaking roles, you know, just given that stuff was out? I mean, you know, Dot's always a playmaker. Kay's always a playmaker. Um, when I think Sean scored more, he was more aggressive to score, which helped us out a lot. Um, but I don't think, you know, either one of them played, you know, much other than Dot taking more shots. Um, I don't think either one of them played, you know, any different than they normally play. Kevin was saying after shoot around today that you and him like to make a lot of side bets on different, like, competitive stuff. What's that like overall? What do you guys kind of keep a – Competitive tally on life. <laughs> life. Um, who drives home faster from the practice facility? Who get to the game earlier? You want us to tell you our whole life, bro? <laughs> Ooh. Draymond, we can see from we can see from Steve's tantrums on the bench there that he was not happy with some of the early defense. I'm assuming you probably weren't either. Uh, what what changed as, as the game went on? And obviously, once again, the third quarter, you guys kind of something clicked, and you guys kind of took off and ran away from them. Uh, I think you know our switches weren't very good. We gave up a lot of open shots because you know we were just, we were indecisive um, there in those in the first quarter. First two quarters, really, we were indecisive. Uh, once we shorted up and you know used our switching and um, you know really locked in on that side of the ball, start taking the easy stuff away, it showed up you know in the score. Uh, but early on, I just don't think we were all the way locked in on that side of the floor and what we needed to be. You know, they were getting out in transition. Uh, they got a lot of stuff in transition, and then they got a lot of easy stuff because we weren't communicating and we weren't decisive. Draymond, uh, Kevin was just mentioning how. He observes how hard you work on, on your shooting from all different places on the floor. I mean, what does that mean to you to just know that these guys notice how much you put into it and, and it pays off? Uh, I mean, it means a lot. Um, at the end of the day, it's something that, you know, you have to have those guys trust also. And so you, you, somebody see you working, uh, they have more trust in that. And obviously, as one of the leaders of this team, you should want, you should be one of the hardest workers, you know. If you want everyone else to work hard, if you're going to reach your potential, so um, definitely means a lot. You know, thankfully it's it's starting to show up. You know, in the game, um, but you know it's good.